Sorry. You also, uh, new to the cast, uh, when the show premieres in September, will be Yancey Arias and uh, Smith Cho. Can you want to tell us a little bit about their characters, briefly? Um, should I go down to their seats? <laughs> and just actually sit. <laughs> Hey, Yancey. Yancey plays Alex Torres, um, and he is sort of the uber boss, we call him, of, the, of, uh, of our team here. He's the one who decides what the missions are and to take people out, uh, who goes with who, if, you know, Paul's character happens to go this week for whatever reason to be undercover, or he has to send him down because Michael needs it. Um, but he also, we're not quite sure exactly what his motives are for this whole project, so that's who he is. And then Smith, much better looking than I am, is um, sort of a count. Oh, thanks, Paul. Yeah, yeah. Sort of a counterpart to Paul, um, as you saw in the little clip. And she's a linguist and is also a tech there. And uh, I think in the first episode she speaks Spanish, Hebrew, Korean, and English. Um, and just she's sort of our contact with the outside world if we need to talk to like Israeli Defense Department or something like that. And she's my foil. She's constantly driving Billy's character nuts, keeps him totally off balance. He's madly in love with her, and uh, and she just drives him crazy. And she's very, very snide, but also very charming, and, and she's an amazing character. And maybe one day you'll get to meet her. <laughs> yeah, we hear she's somewhere around here. I'm, I'm sure I'm right at NBC. I'm sure some of the, you'll be at the NBC booth later, and uh, oh, we will day. now. <laughs> <laughs> And of course, uh, all right, so thank you, Gary Scott Thompson. Thank you. I can do Bruce too if you want, or anybody else. Want to be Bruce Davison too? I can um, do this job. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think, I think what Bruce would really like to say is that um, he wants everybody to watch, you know, the show. He, he loves it. He had, he had actually a little quote that he said, which was when he was a kid growing up, he used to love to watch uh, Flash Gordon. And then when he got older, he watched it, and it wasn't quite what he remembered. And he's hoping that all the fans out there, even though you love the, the original, which we all do, everyone up here loves the original, we're hoping you at least give us a chance to prove our version of the new Knight Rider. And I think that was, what else did Bruce have to say? No, I think that nailed it. That, that was, was pretty much it for Bruce. It was pretty good, that was a good Bruce. He had um, some X-Men news, I think, I'm not sure. So uh, I guess that leaves Sydney. so. Oh, I know what I can ask you about Sydney. Yeah, I know. We know what's coming here. Okay, go. Sydney. Yes. In uh, the recent two-hour movie, your character had a broad range of love interests. Yes, which... <laughs> no pun intended. Yes. No, very much intended. As Sydney, uh, she found very interesting and different, uh, not your atypical role to play in Hollywood, yeah. especially on TV. Uh, will she continue to have a broad range, or do you not know yet? Well, she doesn't know yet because Gary and the writing staff haven't quite figured out that facet of her character yet. <laughs> well, and in fact, a lot of stuff is going to be changing, Gary. Let's go back to Gary. Gary. Oh, sorry, excuse me. Sorry, sorry. Well, you didn't do Paul Campbell yet, because I'm doing Joseph Adelaide right now. That would be me.